picture so we'll be doing here but this time I'm going to take you into a, a, a the larger one now let's see what kind of a ah, yeah yeah we, well I've done one already for my patreon people but introducing some largeness into the in, into the picture for a change It's as though we've, I'm, I'm taking you right up to the cottage, say, you know. Instead of leaving you, we're coming back away from it. For a change, we're going to do a big one like this. And this will be, it's, it's going to be a big help for you for practising these, uh, your painting. It'll be good for you, really will, because... Uh, You'll be able to see it bigger and practice it bigger and get do it bigger and see if we can make a better job bigger. So there we are in this little bit of a oh, it's, a, it's what I previously I've done these so it's of no no difficulty at all. And the, it's only done uh, like I, I do it usually loosely but it'll, it'll, it's teaching you better how to get into the picture and see it I've done it with my Patreon people today just to show them that you don't need to be miles away I'm doing it de gently if you don't want so I'm going to do it this area so now the pa the, this paints I'm using another thing I've been I popped in some uh, some acrylics actually and um, they're doing the trick quite well. In fact, they look a lot better than the the cheap uh, those cheap paints you buy them student quality. And if you reckon it up and you only use a bit at a time, they'll take you. To, they're a lot cheaper, won't they? So I'm going to introduce you to doing some with some acrylic, some of this uh, paint. Now this is a, a thing here, I, I found it there, difficult to, to get off the palette. So only put a little bit, drops of it like, just uh, squeeze out a little bit at a time. Like, don't do it too much like these big blobs like I had it. that's a mistake because if they go hard, you can't get them off, honestly. They dry their hard acrylics, don't they? So, don't uh, put them like in too big. And I'll clean this off completely. And next time I'll use them very, just little blobs of the colour, enough to do the painting, and then wipe it off completely every time. Not leave it on, because uh, acrylics do go hard and... You know the story anyway, you know how to do it anyway. So let's make a start with this. Now, I'll put some a gentle touch of water on, not too much. Just a little bit. Because, what, I mean, it, it, there's not much sky there at all. Normally what you could do is, is do your blue sky and leave a cloud or two like, you know, but you can't, you see. Uh, what we have to do is more or less, come on, we'll just uh, do about that much and uh, try and cut round the chimneys like that and do it like that. Now that's, that you'd have to leave as your sky, you see. Now we'll have to scrub all them after out them lines, what we put there. Now we'll get a bit of our yellow, see this yellow? Cad yellow. Look how bright that is, you see. It's in um, acrylic. Now, we put some blue with it. A bit more, see. Now, that's a nice green, isn't it? Bright green. So, it's a bit too bright. So, we'll just put some of this, see. Let's get some of this Spain's grey. Put it in it. And maybe a little bit of burnt umber. To get that madness out of that green. Now, you can add a little bit more water to it it'll, because it'll be adequate. Now, if we bring it across here, in front of the house, 
like this, see? And then we bring it at the other side, here. I'm going to sweep like that. Now wash your brush out, and just bring some of this out here for a path going up there to there, see? So that's a path going up, you see, through your greenery. Right, now you can take that off. At the same time, get some burnt umber, not too much, and let's just add a little bit and give it a little bit of character, say. A bit of brown. If you, you know, try and get a little bit of solid, quite strong here and there. Now the reason I'm doing this is because these are these will blend out a bit and they'll be clumps of grass and we'll be able to make use of them afterwards. Okay. Right, there we are. Now then what we want now is our a little bit of a paint grey. No, wait a minute, that I can't use that bit. Let me get a smaller brush, just one. We're in it, won't be sick. Okay, so I've got to have a little bit out of plim, if you know what I mean. We can't be perfect all the time. Let's see if I can. It's too wet. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll bring this down here. Cut that out there. I don't be too worried about what it looks like at this stage. Yeah, don't be starting thinking I'm making a mess now before I've started. You can go over it, don't get carried away, you can go over it. Where were we? There we are, a little bit of a red into it, burnt sienna, that's a handy red. And we'll just bring this in here. Now this colour would have been better, wouldn't it? A little bit of burnt sienna in it. Whoa, whoa, a little bit of burnt sienna in that blue. Uh, let's see. Just go over it again, see? There we are. Now that, is that straight? No, it's not, is it? Eh? Let's straighten it up then. I'll tell you what, while we've got this burnt sienna on our Brush, let's do this, uh, that, that, that. Okay. Like that. Right. Oh, well, let's carry on now. A bit more blue now, a bit blue. Look at the state of that. Terrible, isn't it? <laughs> what do we care? Hey. 
Hey, should we should we do that? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Now this brown, not not too strong, I hope. I'll be careful with this. It's a, it's a bit of strong stuff, is this uh, acrylic, isn't it? Uh, what am I doing now? We have to put some trees in, won't we? Hey. Oh, look at that all over here, bits. That was a <laughs> well, that was a stupid thing to do, wasn't it, Alan? Now let's get some brown and some of that paint grey together. No, then, no, then, no, then, no, then, no, then, no, then. Would I go all the way? Yeah. Something a bit thicker than that, don't we? No. no. What else do I want to... Uh... 
Oh, oh, oh. oh, I think I'll borrow that little brush. The easier one. The thing is, when you pour a brush, you don't know where you pour it, do you? Oh, that's not dark, is it? I think we should use some uh, some Bain's grey uh, in uh, acrylic. I bet that'd be better. This is uh, this is not acrylic. You see, it doesn't. Wouldn't say it's as good for mixing. Now that I put a little bit of the walker in this. Right, what do we want in now here? Yeah, Oops, that is it there. It up to there. Now what's next? We want to want some something on the roof, don't we? I'll put a bit of yellow with some of that. Oh yeah, and that blue, and we'll see what colour comes out. Oh, the light, the light, the one. But let's have a see. Going over that there. Uh. 
It's a little wet, isn't it? We're having a bit of fun anyway, aren't we? Right, uh, I want some of that rolling off, don't we? Oh no.
Not yet. In a minute. Now then, ooh, what sort of a colour is this going to be? Now, let's see, we want some, some brown here, don't we? Uh, maybe some dust here. Do the old Bletcher Watson trick. Just a little bit of showing us a little bit of action there in the foreground. Not quite finished yet. Very, very simple, very simple painting. But just to uh, fiddle the boat with and made a little bit better. Okay. Thanks for looking in. And uh, I'm showing you uh, if you were looking through some uh, glasses. I'm taking you right up to the cottage. Not an ideal position to uh, to paint that, uh, uh, you know. Uh, I put a few little tricks in to make it look all right, you know. But usually it doesn't look well if you try and do a close up, so close up. I've just imagined it in my head, you see, because I know what they're like, and I've already done one, a different one with a different cottage for my Patreon people, just to show them. In fact, you could learn quicker by, if you tried to do one like this, couldn't you? 
it, it's unusual for a hake painting though, isn't it? So big. And simple. I've kept it simple as well, as simple as I could get it. On different quality paints, I mean, these are paints that are acrylic paints. Don't put a lot on, otherwise you can't get it off if it goes hard. Just enough to do your painting. And just a touch. But they're much brighter, I'll say that, than the uh, student quality. Thanks for looking up. Oh, you like that one? I do hope you like it. Might not be to everybody's taste. Thanks for looking in, and uh, I'm showing you uh, if you were looking through some uh, glasses. I'm taking you right up to the cottage. Not an ideal position to uh, to paint that, uh, uh, you know. Uh, I put a few little tricks in to make it look all right, you know. But usually it doesn't look well if you try and do a close up, so close up. I've just imagined it in my head, you see, because I know what they're like, and I've already done one, a different one with a different cottage for my Patreon people, just to show them. In fact, you can learn quicker by if you tried to do one like this, couldn't you? It's unusual for a Hague painting, though, isn't it? So big. And simple, I've kept it simple as well, as simple as I could get it. On different quality paints, I mean, these are paints that are acrylic paints. Don't put a lot on, otherwise you can't get it off if it goes hard. Just enough to do your painting. And just a touch. But they're much brighter, I'll say that, than the uh, student quality. Thanks for looking up. Oh, you like that one? I do hope you like it. Might not be to everybody's taste. 